<laughs> Alright. Time to take care of these uh these uh Linux gamers again. Mm-hmm. I just gave you the Linux 6.9 kernel. Mm-hmm. Here's another one for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just dropping I'm just dropping news on you guys. I seen the situation happen with uh you first of all, I know you're ready for Elden Ring's expansion. That's coming. Yep. I seen the news on uh Sony ha having two C two uh CEOs now. Hmm. Uh Square Enix is having is uh going uh multi platform. Like I said months ago or or even a year, couple of years now. When I said, uh, it's one thing if a, if a console manufacturer uh, purchase you, then you're, um, I mean, uh, okay, then you have to make games for them. But if you're independent and you and you're out there on your own in the open, you have to you have to release uh, games on multi platform. Now the Final Fantasy VII situation, I understand it pretty good. But Sony never purchased uh, Square. Which they should have done. Mm -hmm. And now uh, Square Enix is uh, talking about going on multi-platform. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what come of this. But anyway, uh, we're going we gonna to talk to you Linux gamers here. We got, we, got, we got a little update for you. Yeah, you. Linux and Steam Deck gamers. Listen, listen to this, though. It says Microsoft. Whoops. Here we go again. <laughs> Not another hiccup, but anyway, um, updates are coming in like this, so got to keep you guys up to date. Okay, now let me get to this. No, no, no more, no more hiccups. If the comp if the computer let me do this, <laughs> anyway. Mm, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, where, where are you? Let's see, close this. And close this. Alright, listen to this. As Microsoft default, default encrypts Windows 11, hmm? Linux is set to get a huge performance boost. Mm -hmm. Look at you. You Linux gamers, man. Always getting spoiled. Anyway. <laughs> Let me get through this. It says here, uh... Oops, I'm back here. <laughs> Man, this computer running away from me. Would you, ah, come on now. Just, me, just messing with me today, man. It must, it must be Mondays. All right, look. Earlier this month, we reported about an upcoming change that Microsoft is testing related to BitLock, BitLocker encryption in the upcoming Windows 11 version 24H2. The company... The company, it seems, want to encrypt user drivers by default, although this was already a commonplace happening inside OEM PCs that run Windows 11 Pro. It looks like the same is going to happen to Home Edition as well. You can read the dedicated coverage in this article. I will leave a link. But it says here, uh, interestingly, it's been found that the default software base BitLocker encryption, encryption, then it says in parentheses, uh, X, XTS dash AES space 128 dash where XTX, XTX st uh, stands for XEX, uh, tweakable uh, block uh, cipher with cipher, cipher text stealing and AES is advanced encryption standard uh, dash and then close parentheses. It says on win on Windows can lead to massive performance boosts, even on some of the uh, fastest uh, data driver data drives like PCIe Gen 4, NVMe SSD, which means users can expect some performance hits on their system. It says meanwhile over on Linux, Google Eric uh, Bigger recently uh, start started working on various tweaks to AES dash x t s uh, implementation and it was found to massively improve performance on amd as well at, as well as intel x86 uh, systems and it says here the results post uh 
implementation of these changes see a huge improvements in term of throughput data on both AMD and Intel. The biggest improvement was seen on Zen 4. We covered this in detail previously in this article. Hmm. We'll leave that link too. And then it says, uh, hence, if encryption, if encryption becomes the norm, users may want to go for a superior solution, whether it's Windows or Linux. However, it is unclear at the moment how this improved performance on the Linux side will compare with Windows. The change has now been proposed to push income push the in push in the upcoming Linux kernel six li, Linux 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 <laughs> Linux kernel version six six point ten. The patch note says <laughs> sorry about that. This update <laughs> includes the following changes API remo remove crypt crypto uh, stats interface then for algorithm, add faster uh, AES-XTS on modern x86, x86 underscore uh, uh, 64 uh, CPUs for bid curves with uh, for for bid curves with with order less than 224 bits in ECC, and then it says in parentheses FIPS 186 186-5 close parentheses. Then it's, then it's another um, feature is add uh, ECDSA NIST and then P521 and then for drivers it says exp expose OTP zones in AT AT ATML add DH fallback for uh, primes 4K in uh, quad add interface for live mi migration in quad use dma for aes requests in uh star 5 add full dma support for stm32 mpx in stm32 add tegra security uh, uh drivers and then it says others uh, in introduce uh base x x509 certificate allocation hence in addition to better optimize algorithm for aes xts there appears to be several other improvements as well including dma and then it says in parentheses direct direct memory access close parentheses advance among several other things and anything else do we, do we have any comments on the comment front? Oh, here we. Oh, we got two. Let's see what these are. These, these are these uh, tech tech these tech guys say. Okay. Uh, one. Uh, Fear said this. This could. This could tip people over to make the switch from Windows 11, 24H2 over to Linux. He he, <laughs> and then somebody, and then and then and then Johnny said this, this this could up people over to make switch from Windows 11, 24H2 over to Linux, <laughs> and he put a laughing emoji. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it. Well, we'll see if I mean some Windows fans are gonna stay loyal to Windows, and then some are gonna use both. Linux and Windows, and the same could be said for Linux. Some Linux fans are going to stay loyal to Linux, but then there's some, like myself and others, we like to use both Windows and Linux. We don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but uh, uh, Windows, uh, uh, Linux, always getting updates, man, in the, in the in this in this tech world, and um, uh. uh Give uh, a performance boost. Hmm. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> um. Twenty-four H two. Well, should bring some improvements. I just did a video on Linux uh, six point nine kernel. And, um. Yeah. Um. They are, um. It, it brought a lot of changes too. So, the Linux uh the Linux kernel experts they got their hands full with that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> but they uh, but for Ubuntu users, they have to use they they have to wait for uh, uh, uh they have to wait for uh twenty four limit uh Ubuntu twenty four ten to use uh six point nine kernel. So yeah, but other than that, you Linux fan and Windows users, you're good. <laughs> anyway, uh. It's, it says I got two articles here, so I will leave the articles in the description box. Of course, uh, Ferran got a, it has a link to Ferronix, so I will leave that. And actually, got four links about four to five links, so I will leave all the links. But other than that, yeah, you Linux gamers, Windows gamers, you're good. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek. Thank you. Poor Darkseid. I'm gone. Peace.